so excited to be sharing this tutorial with you because I can't tell you how many times I've wanted to create B-roll, aka supporting video to basically play over what I'm speaking about or, you know, as a as a second camera, but I want it to look more organic, like more handheld. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that if you don't have somebody to do it for you. It's so easy. Okay, so this is in Premiere Pro, and you're gonna see I have this quick B-roll clip. I haven't done any edits to it yet. It just is what it is, but I'll do that later. The point is, you can see that if I play it, it's just completely still. But I would let, because it, it's just boring that way. It's like, this, is, this clip is not good. Well, I have also filmed just my desk handheld, and just like this. So I was basically just holding the camera and moving with it so that I would have footage of, you know, handheld footage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the motion from this clip and apply it to the first one that I showed you so that it looks like that's what's happening. So I know, blowing your minds. Um, so here are the steps to do it. You're going to select both of those clips. I can actually delete the rest of this so it's not confusing. There we go. So I've got both of those clips selected. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna select Nest. And then I can just say okay. Now what I'm gonna do is go to my effects panel. You can type in warp to find warp stabilizer. I'm gonna drag that over to the nested clip. That's gonna be analyzing. While that's analyzing, I can go over to my effect, con effect controls and go down to the stabilization and the result, I'm gonna change it to no motion. And then for method, I'm changing it to position scale rotation. Okay, that's all you need to know. And then what that's, that's actually not giving us what we need. See how it's all warped? That's not actually what we want. So in order to apply it correctly, we're gonna double click on the nested sequence. It's gonna open that up for us. Click on the top, which is that replace footage, the handheld footage, we're gonna delete it. And then go back to your main sequence and play it. And you have handheld footage, the fake way. You're welcome.